Hey, hey, hey. Hello. Hello. We're here. We're in. Hi, kids of friend. Welcome to your. Uh, this is third. Number third three. of this second series of stage combat classes. Mm. Um, we got to learn some falls. We got to learn some contact. Mm -hmm. And now what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to work kicks into your choreography. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So wasting no time. Uh, all the all the techniques that we're going to do today are all going to be in the realm of distance and non-contact. So if you're working with anybody at home, if you make connection with the person at home, you're not doing it correctly. We don't want to be connecting with our partners today for these particular strikes that we're going to be looking at. So starting off, uh, let's talk about kicks. Let's talk about how we throw kicks. Uh, I'm going to springboard off a technique I was talking about in the last class, if you were here joining us, which was striking the side of the head without coming through with energy. So essentially, it's a technique we use uh, called casting, in that I'm stopping, or not stopping my energy, but I'm sending my energy past my opponent versus coming in toward them and having to muscle that kind of stop. So what I'm doing is I'm sending my energy past my opponent and ending, uh, if it's a strike with my hand, I'm ending the strike past and away from my partner. Just like if you're throwing a Frisbee, you want to point where that shot goes at the end. You don't want to swing it all the way through. Cool? Yeah. So basically, with that energy, we're going to do the same thing with the foot. Mm -hmm. Again, with our safety being distance, right? We have a few different safeties. We have timing, we have safety by distance. We're going to do this one by safety by distance because we want it to connect. So we're going to show mm -hmm. you a kick with safety by distance, and then we'll do one with timing. Yeah. So what Jackie's going to do, because people can have all different kinds of kicks, Marshall, just depends on your uh, on your um, your ability and what we call range of motion, right? For example, we have dancers that can lift up their leg very, 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 very high. I can't do I can't that. Do that. No. They're like ding, 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 ding. We have martial <laughs> artists that can go like straight they can up. kick straight up and then they can kick here. Sometimes a great kick can even just be as low as here, right for the shins, mm -hmm. right? So depending on how high you can go, we can see different kinds of kicks and abilities. Like for example, on my body, Jackie, how high can you kick? I can probably comfortably kick right in your belly. Belly, great. Mm -hmm. So with a nice strong leg, and one of the things that we know, oh, sorry, go ahead, Jackie, you can find your balance, go ahead. Do it one more time. With great balance, you want to so what when you know what where your kicking range of motion is is when you can hold it and you can do it fairly slowly. Try that again, Jackie, with a, with some control. With boom, and then there's some control there, and then back. The reason why we talk about that is we know that that can be controlled, right? Because mm -hmm. you can get probably higher with it being really wild mm -hmm. and not having any control. But one of the things that you want to do is with stage combat, it has to be repeatable and it has to be controlled. So, mm -hmm. for example, the reason why we talk about doing slow work is that that way we can always be consistent with our target. We know exactly where it's going to land and it's not going to surprise our, our partner. Mm -hmm. So, Jackie said she's going to kick me in the stomach, right? Mm -hmm. So it's going to look like this. Are you going to take the nap? Yeah, I'll go Great. the nap with a little more speed. Ooh. Right? So, how do we do this again? Remember, stage combat is about illusion, and we're mm -hmm. doing it by distance. So, if we open it up, this is the exact same kick. Jackie's going to have six to eight inches away from my stomach, and she's going to send her foot towards you in the camera. That is that is the that is the magic. Mm -hmm. How we make it come all together is Jackie has the nap, but she's doing it mm -hmm. on the side of her hip, away from the audience. Because we're thinking the audience is over here in front of me this way, mm -hmm. right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish it by selling, right? So we talked about the sell and the reaction that creates the whole story. So Jackie sends the attack, <clears throat> and I cave in my stomach so it looks like I got hit. Right? I don't want to just bend over because that's just a very general uh, reaction. And also, mm -hmm. this is a safety hazard. <laughs> I don't want to go all the way down because no. I might hit their leg. But what I want to do is be very specific and I want to show exactly where I got hit. <laughs> and fun parts of that is like you get to play with different kinds of reactions and sound. Mm -hmm. If you think about getting hit in the stomach, I get winded. So it's. <clears throat> You know, it's like a, a gasping of air or an expulsion of air. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do this again with that same space. But because you get to see the magic angle, we're going to close it up and do it for performance. Mm -hmm. Ready? So Jackie's going to go for my stomach. I'm ready. And she sends it. <coughs> 
And then she can probably follow up with maybe a punch. You can punch down or <laughs> cross, right? So we can figure out whichever way we want to tack on an attack, right? Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So that was uh, that was a, uh, a kick, just a mm -hmm. quick by distance. We're going to do three of those together, okay? You're going to find a partner, and you're going to kick. Mm -hmm. Ready? Perfect. So what I want to do is I'm throwing this kick. <clears throat> What will help with my aim so I don't feel like I have to step all the way over. I'm not climbing on a horse saddle. I'm going to point with my knee past my partner where I want to go, and then all I have to do is straighten out my leg as I turn over. Great. You want to show that sideways? Absolutely. So, so follow with the knee again. I lead with my knee, and from here, all I'm doing is straightening out my leg and rolling over my hip. Did so you I see if there was a, a glass mm -hmm. Look at this, where Jackie... Send the knee, and again, it goes on that line. Wow. Straight. Straight. Because if I try to extend my leg and then roll over with energy this way, that's when we're going to come in contact with our partner, and that's what we do not want. Mm -hmm. So let's do three of those together, okay? Yeah. Ready? Frame here. we got one kick ready. And by the way, I'm going for belly. If you're much more comfortable and confident coming down here for shins, yeah, why don't fantastic. We do three for belly, and then do uh, three lower. Amazing. Right? Perfect. Let's do that. So first kick to the belly, nice and slow, and control, nice. Three steps back, that back leg kick to the belly. Then you're a brilliant time. partner. I'm going to try to go for punch. And that one again. Nice. So remember we're talking about the sell and the attack. Mm -hmm. Jackie's coming in with a little bit more aggression. We're going to try it with a little bit more... Um, like you're really going for it, and I'm gonna mm -hmm. go. Like, remember, it's both of our performances, so we're yeah. here, we're ready to go. <laughs> right. So that's the whole magic. That's how we cover up, you know, the the, the safeties mm -hmm. and and the things that we keep our partners safe. Yeah, which is great. So then let's try the shin. So obviously, if you've ever got hit in the shin by accident, have you ever? hit your a coffee Ooh. table or an edge by accident, it hurts. So I'm not gonna yeah. make a more of a oof sound. I'm gonna make, uh, I'm gonna try and see what kind of sound I'm gonna make, but it's gonna be a pain sound. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go for the, which one? This one, we're gonna go for the closest leg yeah. to my opponent, because the thing is, if we go further, which is fine, if we do decide to go further, you have to remember that this leg might get into the picture as well. So mm -hmm. you don't, you wanna think about the storytelling of it. So it'll probably be better to go to the closer shit, Mm -hmm. ah! <laughs> oh! Ouch. <laughs> Again, this same thing applies. So we're gonna go here. If Jackie, we're going on the on the side I'm here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cheat my leg back because we're close to the wall. Yeah, great. I'm gonna come over closer. Go. Nice. See that six to eight di uh, inches again is away. And then Jackie's energy is done. She's not mm -hmm. coming in and trying to stop because that might hit my knee, that might actually hit my shin. Mm -hmm. And also if you've ever kicked a shin, it hurts. Oh, it would be bad news Very for painful. Yeah. Great. So let's do two more on the shin. Ready? Two more shin kicks. That's easy. Oh! That was a surprise. I was going to try and go for a punch. Oh! Good. Good job. Any questions? We have the comments uh, section mm -hmm. open, so we can do that. Now, sometimes one of the things that we talk about is like, how about if you don't have a partner? We didn't get to do that very much with um, with our last class, but if you go back to our few classes in our first series, you can we could talk about fighting the ghost. Mm -hmm. But practicing this technique is very important. So, Absolutely. what you could do is you can get a chair as an opponent, just to make sure you're practicing that. Also, you'll know, because if you accidentally swing too hard and have energy, you're gonna hurt yourself. Mm -hmm. So the, it is important to have something here, and what you're going to do is you're gonna keep practicing that energy that Jackie was, Jackie was saying, knee forward, and then sending it out, and then having that great six to eight um, inches away from the chair. So you can do that a few times. Oh, you can practice by hiding your nap on your chest, right? You can do it by practicing by snapping on your thigh. You can also practice if there was someone else. Jackie can do my nap. Right? <laughs> Jackie just did that. That was not me. <laughs> so a quick little, um, a little recap yeah. is that if you were to do, if we were going to do this kick, say I'm facing this way, and Jackie's mm -hmm. going to do a stomach one? Yeah. If Jackie's deciding to do um, the nap, 
it would probably be best to do it on, uh, you can, she could do it on the chest or the front of the thigh because watch where her body's going. Mm -hmm. It's going to go for the chest, but go ahead. She's hidden because her back is towards you. Mm -hmm. So if this was the other way, we can totally do it this way, right? Where you get my back from the audience because this is the way it was staged. <laughs> but the thing is what's, what's not hidden is the nap. So I can go, I'm going to take the nap. Great. So we can hide it from the audience, mm -hmm. right? So we decided that I want my back towards the audience because this is the way that we want to have the fight. Mm -hmm. Here we go. <laughs> right? So we have those moments. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So what's next, Jackie? Do you want to do a, a front push kick? Yeah, let's talk about front push kick. Just Great. a different kind of kick. Same idea that I'm going to be too far away uh, for my opponent to actually connect with them. So from here, we're going to go back. I'm going to squat real deep because the camera's low. From what I want to do here, just like in one of our first, first, first lessons, if you go way back, I want to check to see where distance is. So what I want to do is know that by the end of my kick, I am still six to eight inches away from Nathaniel. So I'm going to ask you to scoot back a little bit because I'll just give a little more space. Because depending on where my lead foot, I'm going to kick with my back foot. And the kick is going to look like this. Boom. Straight front push kick is what that's called. So from here, I know that I'm stepping forward on this lead leg. Nice, thank you. Stepping forward on this lead leg. And when I throw this kick at the end of my leg is where I want that six to eight inches to be. So that's great. Nathaniel's still a little out of distance. I know I'm not going to connect her here. Cool? So from here, I know we're set up. I know this is our safe distance. I queue up, extend out, and Nathaniel can react. And one of the things that you want to be very, um, uh, as you practice, is knowing your balance. Mm -hmm. um, we can change our distance by being off balance. So if Jackie sends this, but she's not very balanced, Ooh. she might step right into me. So one of the things you want to practice is even on your own, is trying to send that front push kick mm -hmm. and having good balance. So that also helps with what we call a little bit of a counterbalance. Mm -hmm. So what Jackie is going to do is when she kicks, her, the, her body also goes back a little bit, as you can see, forward leg, back with a little bit with the body, mm -hmm. right? So you can practice that just right here. Mm -hmm. And you can keep practicing. This also helps too if you want to see um, at home, if you want to try and get your foot higher and higher. We talk about like leg lifts. So mm -hmm. if you have a goal, you're like, oh, this is where I am today. You can go, oh, I'm going to try and go a little bit higher. And you're just going to hold it for 10 seconds. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I want to make sure that in the next show, I want to hit Jackie a little bit higher. So I'm going to try and be like, okay, I need to get my leg up even higher. And I can here sit here for a bit and help. But that's good because then I'll all of a sudden I can finally get to the stomach. Right? It's all, you can, you can train yourself to do that. Mm -hmm. So Jackie's going for my stomach again. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go for a big kick. <sighs> And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I can give the power to show how powerful this kick is, mm -hmm. right? So Jackie can even push me down to the ground. Oof. And you can do stuff like that. Or it can even be a smaller kick. And that can be right in. I, we tell the story together, mm -hmm. right? And uh, we always want to make sure that the intensity of the kick matches the intensity of the reaction. Because mm -hmm. look at this. What if Jackie decides to do a, 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 a kick that doesn't look as strong, but I do this? Mm -hmm. ah! oh. Obviously, over a little goofy. Exactly, draining <laughs> a little bit, but you always want it to make sure it matches. So we're going to go for a big kick. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to go to the ground. Oh. So let's do that now because you see the magic. Mm -hmm. Let's do that with a little bit of an angle mm -hmm. so that we can see. Can you just do a little marker to see if we're burying it enough? Yep. yep. Does that look great? Good. Ready? <sighs> Off. Right, <out> of frame. <laughs> right out of frame. Great. So we're going to just practice a few of those. Remember, mm -hmm. you want to start slow and then work fast. So, Jackie. Let's do three, yeah. and we're going to do fairly regular so I can just aim and frame. Absolutely. Great. Do you want to do one at speed? Yeah. Ready? Mm -hmm. There you go. So you have, Jackie's also making sure that we have all of our um, tools in place. She's giving me a cue, which is her leg. Mm -hmm. She's bringing it up. I know we're ready to go. 
I'm going to, she's going to throw, I'm going to start to go. She gives the attack and then I give my reaction and we make that storytelling together. Mm-hmm. All right. What should we do next, Jackie? Yeah, let's throw a knee in real quick. Nice. Me, again, same idea. I'm not coming into my partner. I'm sending my energy past. Uh, so for the knee, what it will look like is this. If I go for another belly strike for Nathania, boom, what the strike is going to look like is this. This is a very similar principle to the first uh, kick we did at the very beginning. I'm coming up with my knee. I'm aiming past, losing my balance, aiming past my opponent. And then from here, all I'm doing is a little hip switch, but I'm still shooting my knee forward on that line past my opponent. I'm not bringing my knee up and then turning in as if I'm stepping onto a bicycle or whatever. No, 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 I want to move right past. So knee comes up and hip turns in. Great. So if we see this from the side, again, that's six to eight inches, of the, like the boom, right? Minimum distance. And what we're going to do is, yeah, we're going to make sure that Jackie comes in. Boom. Right now, she's lined up pretty close to me. If we're feeling a little bit closer, we can say, we talk about different train tracks. Mm-hmm. So if Jackie decides to throw this and we're on the same train track, which means we're on the same line, Jackie, when she finally puts her knee, has very little places to go because the mm-hmm. knee is close. Yeah. What's different about a knee is what we call close fighting. Mm-hmm. So when we get into elbows, when we get into knees, um, the fight gets closer, mm-hmm. right? When we talk about kicks and long range, this is when it goes a little bit far into that, for that reaching distance, and then punching is in that in yeah, that middle distance, middle distance yeah. right? So we got close, middle, and then we got that reaching far distance, right? Mm-hmm. So the reason with knees, one of the things that can help you be safe is like, uh, especially because it's just an illusion, we can mm-hmm. go a little bit off the train tracks. So Jackie is a little bit further, so when she sends out her knee. Boom, boom, we have that six to eight, di- eight inches away, mm-hmm. right? So we're gonna say, this is good, the train tracks are good. Yeah. But Jackie's a little bit closer when she tries to send it, and we find that we're looking how close we are. Mm. Like, hey, can yeah. we just be a little bit further on the train tracks? Yeah, I'll be off, make sure I'm off the tracks. Yeah, there we go. So we have two trains going up, boom, right? And now, what do I do? I react. So I'm, I'm here ready into this fighting position, <laughs> and I receive the knee. So this is what it will look like. So facing this way, Jackie is on a different train track this way. I'm here. I'm ready to throw something in here. <sighs> and that's a knee. Yeah. So we're going to put some of that together. Mm-hmm. What's going to happen is Jackie is going to go for a double. Um, um, I guess what we can do is set up. Uh, which is going to be a little bit of uh, maneuvering. If I decide to get a kick to the stomach, mm-hmm. <sighs> my face is right here. So we can also do an upwards knee. Mm-hmm. So what's going to happen is Jackie's off the same train tracks, and because I've had to go <clears throat> and I'm lower because, oh, this hurts my stomach, my face goes low, mm-hmm. I set up for a, uh, for a knee to the face. Mm-hmm. So what's going to happen is Jackie's going to point the knee, give a cue, which is a step back, and then she's just gonna send the knee as high as she can, right? And I'm gonna go from there, if Jackie does that one more time, steps back, I'm gonna go straight up. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna do that reaction that we talk about where I bring in my shoulders, and I bring in my hips, and I'm rocking mm-hmm. back just a little bit. I'm not just sending my neck back yeah. and getting whiplash, okay? okay? So we're gonna go from that again. Kick to the stomach. Boom. I step back to cue. We see eyes. Boom. Nice. So it's important to when we do two attacks in a row that we have good eye contact. Mm -hmm. Because I could possibly react this way. (laughs) Jackie's not going to send that because she doesn't see my eyes. But also I might not see her leg. If she goes, she's just going to react without me being available to help with that reaction. So it's a little bit late. Mm -hmm. So Jackie's making sure by the time I go, I go, we see each other. And then I do that reaction. Mm -hmm. So with this knee, the exact same thing is happening. We have distance between our faces Mm -hmm. uh, and my face and her knee. So from the kick, it goes here. Boom. I'm down low. I look. I step back. And look at how much distance there is there. 
right? <laughs> but because we, we mask the distance when we turn around, that's the magic of it. That's how we can do this over and over again. Yeah. So this is how we can do this show to show. Yeah, uh, we're just about at the end of our time here, nice. if not at the end of our time. Um, yeah, so let's review real quick. Yes. That last little combo. Yeah, let's do it uh, once together and then once with uh, Fighting the Ghosts. Absolutely, perfect. So once together, do it a little bit yeah, here. Yeah, let's do this slowly and then we'll do one at a time. Absolutely. So, my knee comes up, <clears throat> out of distance, <sighs> eye contact. I step back, knee comes up. Oh. <clears throat> We're good. Nice. When we do that, can you uh, maybe have a little bit of clearing so we don't mask my Absolutely. Reaction? So after I finish the knee, yeah. I'm going to keep stepping through. Yeah, maybe step through and turn to look so you're fighting on this side. Hmm. Yeah, so we're readily available for each other. Nice. <laughs> nice. That was great, Jack. Yeah. So why don't you do your side with fighting the ghost? Mm -hmm. So, I don't so have if you're on by yourself, home, yeah. I've got my imaginary partner here. I've placed them just off my tracks. I cue up with my knee. I kick straight ahead. Boom. I step back. I get my ghostly eye contact. Cue straight up. Move past. Turn and look at my opponent who should now be here. Nice. Go. So then if you want to practice to make sure that you're doing this again, Jackie's gonna do it with the chair. Yeah. Just to make sure, remember, this is technique that's really good for us to practice over and over again, just to make sure we're keeping each other safe. Mm -hmm. So Jackie's just gonna do that same combo. Yeah. Um, do your back, and actually, if you do it this way so they can still see the safety, Jackie. Ooh. On this side, yeah. Let me attack with the same leg I've been using. So I can do the right. Okay. Yeah, so then I'll turn this up. I'll beat him. There you go. Perfect. So you can see this one. ending here. Yeah. Boom. Look at that good distance. Correct. Eye contact with the top of the chair. Boom. And we know that we'll always keep it. This becomes a person will always keep them safe. Really good work today. Yeah. Make sure you practice that. Again, you can practice your reactions with the ghost. Like I can pretend that Jackie has hit me. Oh, 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 oh. Into the face and practice those as well because that's how we actually practice solo when mm -hmm. we're doing shows. But yeah, that is today's class that's on kicking. Mm -hmm. um, again, if you check back, you can actually start to like bring some of these elements together. You can go, I'm gonna decide to give you a punch at a distance, and then I can see what happens if I try to give you a kick to the stomach. Mm -hmm. And then you practice that slowly and you talk with your partner. And you always wanna make sure that you can repeat it and that each partner knows exactly what they're doing. You never want to surprise someone with it because yeah. remember, it's a partnership to make it look really good. Mm -hmm. All right. So have a very good day. Do you have anything yeah. else to add, Jack? Nothing to add. Hopefully we'll see you again on Wednesday. Two more yes. days. We'll see you soon. For our last class. Yeah. All right. Thanks so much, everybody. Fight safe. Bye-bye.